Hi, um, recently my friend has invited me to um, create some graph for a, um, a scientific journal in the field of uh, biology or uh, um, biomedical. So um, here today I want to share some of the basic technique for uh, in using R to create uh, some graph for a scientific journal or uh, even your uh, research or uh, academic publication. So uh, let's say, um, so in one of the graph that I have created for my friend is that I have, a, a, I have a box plot at the top and then I have a histogram at the bottom, which is, which consists, uh, which uh, show distri the distribution and the, and the range uh, for the data set uh, for, a, for a sample, which is something like this. So uh, how what I'm how to uh, so the steps that uh, I'm creating how I can uh, create this graph is that uh, first of all you have your uh, data loaded so here I'm just going to do a uh, ten thousand um, uh, R norm so and then I have this layout function which uh, the the input of the math is a it's a it's a matrix so as you can see that in this matrix I have two numbers one and two and then the and then it is a uh, two rows uh, with one column so that that means uh, that's the uh, my uh, my setting for this plot so now you can see that I have two rows and one column so that your graph laid out as uh, as uh, as in the matrix form and then the height will just uh, uh, is the setting for the height for each graph so in so the top graph I will have height of one and the bottom graph I will have height of eight so this laid out first uh, um, uh, predefine your uh, your um, table how you want to how you want to uh, um, place uh, uh, your graph. We can think of it as a container or a placeholder for uh, the graph that you are about to put in here. So uh, now let me delete these and then so and the layout function here again and here is a is a parameter where for uh, first of all you, you are this is only for your top graph so this is uh, telling that uh, this is setting the the dimension or um, the height and width for the for the top graph so that you can see that um, so here I have four parameters here which is uh, corresponding to the location or the, the coordinate for uh, your uh, or um, actually it is the margin size so uh, for each four um, um, size for the top graph here so um, if you forget um, what these numbers uh, uh, stands for, you can always try to 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 change the number here, and then you to to adjust to slightly adjust your graph, and then you can find out your um, uh, the, the 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 numbers or the settings that is uh, suitable for your graph. So this number is only suitable for my graph. So if you have different kind of graph that you want to put in your in your in your uh, in your graph, then you need to adjust the number to um to to see to adjust for your graph so here this so this is the r norm uh, box plot for um for my uh sampling data so here you can see that uh so for uh for my first uh row where i which i define in this matrix i will have another um, row for here and so i have two graphs i uh top and bottom and then in in, in one column here and then this is the margin size for my top graph. And then in within this um, within the top graph, I'm I'm making uh, I'm creating a box box plot for uh, for the data, which I have a horizontal equal to true. So the box plot is horizontal. If you don't have this um, uh, parameter, then your box plot will be a uh, vertical. And then uh, for the y limits. So this is just the uh, uh, horizontal axis. I have from negative five to positive five. So that's the top graph. Now for my bottom graph, I have this parameter, which is the margin size for uh, the the graph that I am about to make in this uh, region. So here I have a histogram. As you can see, that um, I am uh, plotting a histogram of the sampling data. 
with bricks equals to sixty. So that's how you break uh, um, how you break the graph into diff uh, into a smaller interval uh, instead of a, 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 a wider uh, interval. Same thing for uh, x limit from negative five to five. So here is negative five to five, and then the main the main is actually the title. So if you if you do this. And then if I run it again, you will see there will be a title uh, exist here. So you see, oh, it seems like the title overlapping with this one. So that's the reason I remove it. But uh, even if you remove it, you can also using some other um, some other commands to add it. So and also the same thing for um, x uh, label and the y label. So if I do this. You will see the text for uh, so you have um, the title. This is controlled by main. My y uh, x label. This uh, this is controlled by the x label. X label. The y label is not showing here because I I um, somehow I put the uh, I put my left margin size. I think is. Uh, too small to reveal that, but if I if I increase that, I will be able to show my Y label here. But um, now I will just um, change everything back. So this is something I have in one of the graphs for my friends in his um, scientific journal. So uh, which is um, showing the distribution of some uh, some test run um, for the data set he has. So this is one of the graph I have in the, in that scientific journal, and then I'm going to show you another graph, which is a, a linear regression graph. So here I have uh, another sample of data, and then my y is just a uh, one plus three x, and then plus some uh, noise here, and then I have this parameter, uh, par here, which is telling that um, I want my graph to start from the uh, zero axis. I want them to be connected for my uh, for the zero in the horizontal axis and the zero in the uh, uh, vertical axis. I want them to be connected and all start from zero. So now you can see that something like that. So you didn't see, you don't see the axis. It is because I have this axis equal to false function here. So um, here I'm just uh, so this PCH per uh, uh, um, um, uh, syntax is just telling that uh, what kind of um, dot, uh, what is the what type the type of marker. So if I change it to one, I'll get a different uh, marker, which is a uh, uh, a circle, and for sixteen is uh, a solid circle. So uh, I think there's a table online. You can always check for this PCH. So uh, for different number, you will get a different type of marker. So always look for uh, look for that table before you choose your um, favorite uh, marker for a graph. So again, y uh, x limb and y limb is only here to control the range for your uh, y uh, um, y axis and uh, and x uh, horizontal axis. The C E X is the is the width or um, the weight for your marker. So let's see if I change it to two, I'll get a, a, a more uh, um, a higher weight for the marker. So again, let me. So this is my original setting. So this uh, I will, and now I'm going to create um, to show the two axes. So as you can see that. Um, so now the the or um, the origin origin is um, connecting together. So you can see that as I define from zero to fifty here, and uh, zero to a hundred hundred fifty for my vertical axis. So uh, using these two, I can bring up the axis in the graph again. So um, now I'm going to create a, a, a linear regression line for this graph. So my linear regression is uh, to regress y on x, 
um, and this one will control the width or the same as uh, the weight for the uh, for the graph and then this one control the color so I'll have a red line for this linear regression line with the weight or um, equal to 3 so it's a, a, a little bit thicker line so now you can see that if I um, make it to uh, 5 I'll have a even a thicker line and here and this row I'm telling I'm creating a text box in the in this graph so uh, for the text I have two um, coordinates which is I'm telling the graph where to put um, I'm telling R uh, the coordinate where I want to put the text here so if I run that you can see that uh, on uh, uh, 1515 uh, I want to put a text box that is uh, y is equal to 1 plus 3x so again this is the uh, let me okay so this is the size of the font And this control the color, red color. Or I can also create a legend. So uh, the same thing, the coordinate of my legend and the content. So here I added y equal to 1 plus 3x with r square equal to 92%. And then, uh, okay. So you can, and then the line here is the red line but the, but the text is uh, in black and I also have this um, so uh, these uh, parameter is always for the line so you can see that um, for this one is the line type and this one is the line uh, I guess is the width so make it dark uh, thicker and to make it back to solid line so uh, line type and width or weight for the line. So uh, these are, so here, this is the basic uh, setting for creating a graph in R. So there are some other um, um, package for creating a fancy graph. For example, ggplot or there are some other plot for some specific model. But um, for me or uh, or for my uh, friend's request um, a basic uh, plot function it is uh, more than uh, enough for uh, to display the content of your data so uh, for me I prefer this because I can control uh, well um, I can control most of the um, the syntax and the parameter or the content on the graph so uh, again, uh, so let me show you what are the final outputs for these two graphs. Here, I have a top uh, top graph. Uh, I have a box plot on the top and a histogram on the bottom, and these uh, these uh, parameter has helped me to adjust the location and the margin size or uh, the details on the graph besides the data and. And then I can also add the title, the labels, and uh, more text in, in, in this graph. So you can always consider uh, each line, uh, line, each line of the syntax is uh, adding one more stuff on your final output. So let me remove that. And then let me redo this again. So this one, you can see that I added a dot here first. My first layer is all the dots, second layer is the axis, then the third layer I added a line, the four, um, uh, the four layer I added either the text or a legend to, uh, for the text that can explain what the graph is doing. And also I can also add, I guess, is there a title function? Uh, okay, yeah, you can also add it a title. Uh, or even you can change the Y or X label here. So uh, these are the basic function in, in for graphing, and these two format are 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 used for my friend's scientific journal. So uh, if so, I hope uh, if you are uh, 
um, doing some research or uh, trying to create some graph for your um, journals. And I hope these functions can help you to make a, or I, I would say pretty simple and a useful graph for uh, for a for a very basic uh, data structure. So um, where I can show the distribution in this one. Your distribution of your uh, of your bio uh, biology data, uh, and here you can also show the and here you can also show the uh, relationship if you have two data, or if you want to build a model or a modeling uh, if you need a model for your data to show like there's a positive trend and then um, it, there's a simple linear regression that can model your data. So uh, thank you very much and let me know if you have any questions.